Across the United States, a small business is opened every 33 minutes. One new job is created by small businesses every seven minutes, while $100,000 in new sales are generated every four minutes, along with $100,000 in capital obtained every 15 minutes. Small businesses throughout the Polk County community with the goal of long-term positive economic impact have a resource at their disposal that can put them on the path to success. That resource and their story is coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Dion Spires. We have in studio Javier Marin and Carl Haddon from the Small Business Development Center at USF. How are you guys doing today? Doing well, thank you. Good, happy to have you here. Thank you. Excellent. So give me a little bit of background. Tell me, what is the Florida SBDC? You want to take that one? <laughs> yes, the Florida is, is Small Business Development Center, and we are USF employees. What we do is we help small businesses grow. Uh, the way we've presented many times is we are kind of an economic development agency for the county or for the city or for the state, however you want to see it, where we help small businesses grow. They become profitable. They hire more people. The more people employed in the county, in the city, in the state, there is more wealth coming to our community. And how is your um, organization, the SBDC at USS, helping small businesses in Polk County? What are they doing for them? Well, our primary service is we provide confidential, no-cost consulting services to small businesses in uh, many areas uh, of uh, need that a small business would have, whether it be marketing, exporting, government contracting, access to capital, um, and we provide those services at no cost and throughout Polk County. So how does the SBDC help businesses grow? Um, some of the main uh, services that we provide is, is the confidential no-cost consulting on topics like government contracting, exporting, and our signature product right now is our growth acceleration program. And what that product is designed for is for more established companies who've been in business for three or more years, five or more employees. They've, they've already established positive cash flow, but they're trying to take their business to the next level of growth. And what we do is we provide a comprehensive business review from the financials, through the operations, through the marketing, through their online presence, whether it be social media and their website. And we provide a written plan to that company, along with some written recommendations on what we think they should implement in order to help them to double their business within the next three to five years. Now, our main goal is not only to provide a document or a product to the client, uh, but through these services, the, the main thrust of it is to have the business client or the business owner commit to doing a phase tour, which is where we're going to be able to implement those ideas that we have recommended. Um, so uh, we're spending a lot of time and uh, quite a lot of money to make sure that this client receives the service, but we want to make sure it goes beyond just providing a report. We want to make sure that they grow. Yeah. Absolutely, because the way that process starts is we meet for several hours with the owner and their management team and go over several pages of questions about their business, the history of their company, their goals for the business in the future. And like Javier said, we really uh, need to educate the client on what they need to do and also get their buy-in of them and their management team so that they'll actually implement the changes. Because after we deliver that report with our recommendations, we'll come back a couple of weeks later after they've had a chance to read through the report and discuss it as a management with the owner and the managers. And then we discuss what the implementation plan will be and we create a, an engagement letter, or excuse me, an implementation letter, and we assign people within that company, and we assign an SBDC consultant to each task, and then we put time parameters on that so that we can assure that those are completed. So it's not one of those situations where, you know, here's our opinion, have a nice day. It's something where we're gonna uh, work, you know, side by side with that company to implement those changes and to help ensure that, you know, the best chances for growth of that company. Oh. Sounds like you guys not only offer a lot of services, but help them to understand kind of what they need to do. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the success stories that you guys have from Polk County? Do you have any on offhand? <laughs> uh, we've actually had several. Um, one of uh, our success stories as far as international trade would be chemical containers in the Lake Wells area. Uh, they engaged with uh, our organization and Selma Canis, our, our uh, international trade specialist out of our Tampa office. 
uh, worked with them along with Enterprise Florida, and we delivered to them what we call an export marketing plan. And through the information in that plan and through their partnership with Enterprise Florida and the Gold Key program they have, they've actually gone on several trade missions throughout Central and South America, and they've, they're working on some contracts uh, to start exporting their product into those markets. Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> and you've had a few on your part of the county yeah, as well. Uh, we also had Ferrara uh, Tooling. Great company, They're very solid. They were just looking to validate whether they were in, in the right position. We're currently working with, with them on helping with the strategic planning. They want to grow, so growth is definitely something we want to work with. Uh, so we may see some companies that are just growing and they want to make sure that they are going to grow in an organized way because growth can be very dangerous. It could be a double-edged sword. Um, and at the same time, uh, there are companies that actually need help to figure out how to, to strategize and be able to get where they need to be. So you guys are affiliated with USF, which is in Tampa, but yes. do businesses have to come to Tampa to work with you guys? No, uh, Javier and myself are actually full-time here in Polk County. Uh, my office is in Lake Wales at the Lake Wales Administration Building, and Javier is at the Lakeland Chamber, downtown Lakeland. And we both uh, have office hours in other parts of the county. Myself, I'm at Bartow in Winter Haven one day a month to meet with clients in those areas who, uh, where it's not convenient for them to travel to my office to meet. Uh, but we try to make our services as accessible as possible and um, as convenient as we can for, for the client. Mm -hmm. The Tampa region covers 10 counties and we have satellite offices throughout all the counties. So uh, just as Carl mentioned and he has other areas, my office is at the Lakeland Chamber, but I also take, I see clients at the Auburndale Chamber of Commerce, at the Haines City Chamber of Commerce. So we try to go to the client as much as we can and this satellite office, uh, the concept of having satellite offices is really good because it, uh, it saves people time from going all the way from, let's say, Highlands County all the way to Tampa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't know, just to kind of get a better understanding, because I don't know myself, what exactly is a satellite office? What, what is the concept of it's that? It's where we partner with a, a third party agency, whether it's uh, a local government or a chamber of commerce, to where we can co-locate with them. Yeah. For example, uh, the City of Lake Wales is, is one of our strategic partners in the Lake Wales area along with the Lake Wales Chamber of Commerce and Economic Development uh, Council and they've provided me an office within the Lake Wales Administration Building and also Javier is in the, the Lakeland Chamber has been a strategic partner for him as far as providing office space. In other counties uh, in the Sarasota area we've partnered with the Workforce Career Source in that area and we have offices within their building. So when we talk about a satellite office, you know, it's not going to be a building that has SBDC on the outside of it. It's where we've leveraged those relationships and those partnerships so that we can provide services that are more localized to that community. Okay. Now, you said before, Javier, that um, growth can be a double-edged sword. It can be kind of scary. What kind of training opportunities can you guys give um, the businesses that are in Polk County? Mm -hmm. Well, we have finance training. So we help businesses understand their finances. A lot of people think that just because they have money in the bank account, they're, they're doing well. Uh, and a lot of businesses may have a lot of sales, but no money in the bank account. These are the kind of things that we want to make sure that they understand. So we provide uh, all types of technical assistance in terms of training for finance, for uh, understanding their break-even point to understanding how growth can be so dangerous that you actually need to measure it ahead of time, go to the bank, get a, 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 a line of credit, and uh, estimate what your financial needs, what your cash needs are going to be so you can grow in an organized way, as I mentioned before. Now, all of this um, kind of background information is all leading up to the big question. How can a business get involved with the SBDC? Um, the, the process to request services or consulting from uh, Javier or myself or any consultant within our region is to go to our website, which is the sbdctampabay.com, and for Polk County, you would put a slash Polk at the end. Uh, there you'll find information about our location and Javier's and mine's bio, but you can also click and request uh, consulting services. You can also request growth acceleration services and see the training calendar all on that website. We don't charge for our services. <laughs> We do have small fees for classes. Uh, we, we just cover our cost. But as far as consulting, there is no cost and there is no limit to the number of times that a client can, can access our services. 
what we do ask from them is commitment. They, we want to make sure that they're going to be working on what they commit they're going to do for their business. Otherwise, it's a, it's a service that's provided at no cost. Right, and the power of the network is not any single consultant uh, within the network. Uh, we have around 20 consultants throughout our 10 counties, all with different uh, backgrounds and education. So depending on what the, the needs of that business or that client uh, are, uh, we'll put a team together to best serve those. I mentioned earlier that we had one of our international trade specialists come from Tampa to work with that uh, company in Lake Wales, you know, because their focus was international trade. That's specifically what they needed. Uh, we have people who specialize in uh, intellectual property, government contracting, finance, all those different areas. So um, many times, you know, Javier and myself may be that lead consultant, but throughout their engagement with the SBDC, that customer, that client may see several different consultants. And again, there will be no cost associated with any of those uh, any of those services that we provide through the consulting. Wow. Sounds like you guys are, gr are a great resource for small businesses in the area. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, it's my always Thank a pleasure. You. <laughs> Thank you. The Florida Small Business Development Center at University of South Florida assists existing and emerging businesses in Polk County through no-cost confidential business consulting information and low-cost training. Consultants can assist entrepreneurs in a variety of business topics, including marketing, business certification, capital access, market diversification, developing st strategic business plans, export services, and web optimization. For more information, you can look them up on the web at sbdctampabay.com slash polk.